come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to know your yah. One day every tongue shall confess you are yah. One day every knee shall bow. Still the greatest treasure to those who love and shows you time to rush um, now is the time to give your heart come um, just as you are to rush come um, just as you are before your yah, mm. one day every tongue shall confess you are yah. One day every knee shall bow. Hear my dogs again. <laughs> Still the greatest treasure. <laughs> For those so fair, you choose you now. Come. Now is the time to, hi. hi honey, to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your all. Good evening world. Six days have come to an end since the Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon, seven twenty second, six thousand and six. And I am on the street to acknowledge and to welcome in your set apart Sabbath of the fourth and last quarter of the moon, Sivan 29th, 6006. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the sixth day, Yah 
ended his work which he had made and rested on the seventh day. Thus Yahuwah blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Friends, I, friends, family, and the world, I am on the street, as I said, to welcome in your set-apart Sabbath. And as I look in the sky, the glory of Yahuwah can be seen in the shades of the sky. It is a beautiful scene. It is in gold and blue and purple. Yah has definitely dressed the cloud this evening to show to the world that his Sabbath, his holy day is here. And I am on the street to declare to the world that Saturday nor Sunday is not your Sabbath. It was Constantine. Before I say the, the, your Sabbath is determined by the new moon. It was Constantine who removed or divorced your Sabbath from the moon phases. It is definitely a beauty to behold. And this evening, I just want to thank y'all that the world now know, or many now know, that his Sabbath is determined by the new moon. Does the heaven as the new as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me. So shall your seed and your name remain and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me says Yahuwah your Sabbath is a sign this is Isaiah no Ezekiel 20 verses 12 and 20 says moreover also I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them that they may know that I am Yahuwah who sanctifies them so your Sabbath is a sign between y'all and his people Israel Holy Sabbath day of praise by you shall richly bless it to us a sign shall be evening I won't say much I'm just going to read from Yah's calendar because there is so much for us to know which we won't have time to but I'm just gonna read this quotes presented by 
Pastor Cox, and I'll say it's not his true name. It says, the lunar calendar, the lunar solar calendar, the loony solar calendar contradict present truth, contradict the present truth of Revelation 14, 6 to 12. The biblical calendar Sabbath is a confirmation of Revelation 14, 6 to 12. The last part of the first angel's message was borrowed from the fourth commandment. Yahuwah material creation was finished on the fourth day. He made or appointed the sun, moon, and the stars to function in their specific spheres. Because the Gregorian calendar is a continuous calendar without intervals, the Sabbath day is out of timing with Yah's calendar and has become one of the six working days. Using the Gregorian calendar to identify the Sabbath is a breach of divine order. Therefore, the seventh-day Sabbath of the Gregorian calendar is a counterfeit. Many do not like to hear that word counterfeit, but it is a counterfeit. A violation of Revelation 14, 6 to 12. And probably, if I could, probably it would be a good thing to read Revelation 14, but it may not be possible, but it would be a good thing if I could find and, and get to read Revelation 14. But the truth is, this Bible is, is work so hard that the, <laughs> that the leaves are scattered. So I mean, I may not, I may not um, be able to read it, but it is, it, it would have been a good thing to read Revelation 14. Um, I think it says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, saying with a loud voice, Fear Yahuwah, and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. And I think verse says, Babylon is falling, is falling. But I may not be able to. So let me just read until the, the, the sun fades. We honor the creator when we worship him during sanctuary time. The day he has blessed. and set apart as holy time. We can only know which day is the seventh day Sabbath when it is observed using yours original calendar of creation, our only point of reference. Wow, the skies are so beautiful. I wish I could take a photo of it. Anyway, since I'm recording, I won't, I won't be able to. The second message speaks of the fall of Babylon, Revelation 14, 8. Babylon is a religious confusion, a mixture of religion, politics, and, com and commerce, deeply embedded in the doctrine of immoral, immoral, immortality of the soul, 
spiritualism and spiritism, satanic, satanism, Sunday worship, Romanism, the apostate, Protestantism, the false prophet, and doctrine of the Trinity. This huge tower of tradition and paganism is based on the Trinity Sunday worship and the big lie that our Savior Yahusha was resurrected on Sunday morning when Sunday uh, when Sunday as the first day of the week was not placed until until approximately 250 to 300 years so sunday was not the first day of the week until ad 3 250 to 3 ad 300 after the event of the resurrection it was the second day of the week when yahusha walked upon the earth Yah sent them a strong delusion that they might believe a lie well I don't plan to be here because the, the sky is so pretty and I just <laughs> I want to get a picture before it is dark so as I said this is Yah set apart Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon and I am on the street to acknowledge your Sabbath and to welcome your set apart Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon Sivan 29th 6006 this is the last of the four Sabbath for that for the third biblical month. The following day after the Sabbath is going to be in the new moon, when a new month will be will begin. So we will have two holy days following each other. Let us remember your Sabbath to keep it holy. What has truly happen is that Yah's four, four, the first four commandments of Yahuwah have been broken by man. Number one, man is calling upon a false deity, God and Lord, which means Baal. Therefore, Yah's third commandment is being broken because his name is falsified and the fourth commandment is being broken because Saturday is not the Sabbath I would hasten to encourage my Hebrew brothers and sisters who now know the name of Yahuwah and are keeping the third commandment that they need also to keep your Sabbath holy it is James 2 verse 10 said he that keepeth the whole law and yet offending one point is guilty of all let us remember your Sabbath day to keep it holy and Yah has really make a difference with the beauty of the sky this evening showing to the world that it is his sabbath if he loves me keep my commandment blessed are they that do his commandment that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in to the city through the gates happy sabbath oh. Sabbath day of rest 
Bye, who shall reach me bless? E to us a sign shall be Have a holy Sabbath. Keep your Sabbath holy. Your Sabbath is a sign between your and his people. And, be, and, and I'm really excited just to see the beauty of the sky. I wish I have all on photo, but happy Sabbath. It is the Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon, the last Sabbath for the third biblical month, Sivan, 29th. Six thousand and six. Shalom. Happy Sabbath. Shalom.